natural forest is deemed to occupy seven stories or layers and it occurred to me that if one could create a, a reproduction of the natural forest with uh, useful plants growing in, on every story or layer, that that would be part of the most intensive form of agriculture in the world. I feel I was born fighting. I was born, actually born dead. In the course of reviving me, they uh, wrenched my left arm, which I've had trouble with all my life. My brother, his birth was far more disastrous than mine. He was born with brain damage. My mother and I proceeded to devote the next 40 odd years of our lives to trying to heal him. Eventually we became vegans. That caused him to live a, a life of almost perfect physical health, yes. Plus the work that he did in the garden. We bought this little 20 acre farm but I found that work on the vegetable garden was too demanding and tended to take me away from my brother. Whereas the herb garden, as all the plants were perennials, virtually looked after itself. I secured my gardener, who is a, a very intelligent and strong man who was a member of a, an old farming family in Mid Wales. Robert had got this idea that he was going to have a forest garden and he knew what to do but uh, he needed somebody to come regularly to sort of do the manual work. So there I was. My style of gardening is have it all in rows and hole between, but Robert's style is completely different. Well, this is a miniature reproduction of the natural forest in which nearly every plant serves some useful purpose. The idea w was to provide all the basic necessities for a small family. It's quite a slope, this part of the garden, isn't it? Yes, Can you it is. Oh, it's very kind of you. <laughs> the fact that I transformed the idea of a forest farm or forest garden into a, a small area has been part of the reason for the success of the concept. Millions of people have felt that they could transform even small town gardens, even balconies, into miniature forest gardens. The philosophy behind this whole place, really, is building up positive health. Any living organism in a state of positive health has the power within itself to ward off pests and diseases. We apply that idea to human beings as well as plants and animals, and on the whole I find it works. I have had visitors from, from many countries. They seem to be a natural New Age people who reject the, the money economy and are working in their different ways for uh, sustainable systems. We got to know about Robert's work and felt very inspired by it to the degree that we, we, um, we found a piece of land and negotiated with the local council authority uh, to let us use it and we planted, probably, I'm pretty sure it's the first forest garden planted in a city. So instead of feeling 
disconnected, alienated, pissed off with the traffic and feeling uh, like there's nothing they can do, they, they can get to grips with forest gardens. It's marvellous to see a garden, a forest garden that's so well established. We've come from a city situation where we're seeing gardens in the process of being established. Thank you. Then to walk into a wonderful environment where everything is so obviously thriving is very inspiring and magical. Those are tree onions. They carry their bulbs at the top of the stems and the bulbs lean over and plant this themselves, which is really rather clever of them. <laughs> and then there's the Alexanders. which is regarded as a, a seaside crop, which has uh, aniseed of flavoured leaves, which are not bad in salads. Lemon brown, which is one of the three or four most nourishing of all plants. It's very nice in fruit salad. I'm afraid the wild garlic is finished. That is the best of all salad herbs, I think. Gardening, I believe, is the, really the best of all possible forms of exercise. It has a, a creative purpose. What's this you're picking up? Good King Henry, this is. I'm sure if everybody at Fennel regularly that there would be far less eye trouble in the world. Is that the leaf as well as the root for the fennel? Yes. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. What's that? That's I don't know. Like that. Oh, it's um, Good King Henry. Oh, so yes. <laughs> yes. The ideal diet for anybody yes. Yes. is a diet consisting of a wide variety of uh, fruit and vegetables and herbs. Right. Should I cut this? Yes, darling. In building up the forest garden, I planted uh, as great a variety as possible, not only for the sake of their nutritional value, but also so that there would be food available throughout the year. I would love to see the forest garden developed as a healing centre. It was made for my, for, for my brother, because my mother and I felt that gardening was the perfect life for him. Vuelan mariposas, cantan grillos, la piel se me pone negra, el sol brilla. What a marvelous world it would be if people gave themselves to helping their fellow human beings to achieve wholeness, complete self-fulfillment. Non que tarde me dice ella, la paloma volará, volará, volará. Como yugo de apretao, tengo el puño esperanzao, porque todo cambiará. It ends with the affirmation that everything will change.